Hi, fourth grade. Let's continue with our science unit, Blackout in Earthtown. We're in lesson 1.4, and this is our second activity. Let's review what we're trying to do in this entire unit. We are trying to figure out how the electrical system works. That is our goal. That is our purpose for this entire unit. Today's purpose is to use, read along with me, a digital simulation, referred to as a sim, to figure out what electrical energy in a system might be used for. So what is a sim? Anyone know? Think about what a simulation or sim is. Well, a sim is a pretend. You're pretending to do something because you can't do it for real. So we're going to have all these parts that we don't have for real. We don't have solar panels. We don't have wind that we can just generate. We don't have gasoline we can use. We're going to pretend by using these pictures in the simulation to see if they will work and if they are making electrical energy. So let's start. Here's how you're going to open your sim. I'll give you specific passwords at the end, but you're going to go to our science, go to your Sacred Heart bookmarks, just like we go for everything else, and you're going to find Amplify Science. Amplify Science. I know this says student apps, but if we go to Amplify Science, they'll take us right there. Once you've logged in, you're going to choose the energy conversions, and it looks like this. It will have the picture. That's Ergstown, remember, with the lights on. And then you're going to look for this green, I'm sorry, this orange box with the number one in it. That is the sim we're going to be working with. Once you're in there, this is what you're going to see. Hopefully, you'll see an orange, if you look in the circle, an orange dot in the word build. That means you can build a simulation. The first thing you need to do is choose an energy source. If you click right in this box here, you can click through a variety of energy sources. You have the sun, you have the wind, you have a crank, and you have fuel. And I want you to try all of them. Once you've done that, you can drag from the bottom these different, these different parts, devices, up into this box that says drag devices here. So maybe I'm going to start with the wind and I want to drag an engine up. If it will click on to your fuel to your uh, energy source you know it can work with it okay if it won't click on then you need to choose a different device now I want you to try simple ones to begin with an energy source and maybe one or two things but I'll tell you what A4A did this already this week and one of the girls was able to make 10 devices work from her energy source so you put that in the back of your head and see if you can break her goal and let me know let's continue. So you're going to take some time to explore this sim. Remember your goal is to figure out how it works by building some energy systems together. Now we are talking specifically about electrical energy, but during this you don't have to just choose electrical energy. You can make any kind of system that you want. So as long as you're in build, you can do build however you want. Once you've built something, and here's an example, you should see if this little orange run light starts when you hover over it. If it shows up, that means it will work. And you can make it run, all right, once you press on that run button and see what happens. If you go up here and hover and it doesn't turn orange, it's not going to work. So that means you did something that wasn't quite right. Maybe you should drag one of these pieces to the, re you could rebuild the whole thing, drag it back to the bottom and try something else. I want you to try many, 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 many different combinations, okay? And what do you notice? What things work together? What were you able to do? What weren't you able to do? Why didn't this one make this one work? I want you to think about all those things as you are building some electrical systems or some energy systems, depending on what you're doing. Once you've done that, in Seesaw, there is, you're going to kind of need to see them both at the same time. So. They call that multitasking. Or you can print this page out before you start your simulations. You're going to write down eight of the different systems that you made. Now, you can draw pictures, or you can write things like sun and put a little arrow and have it go to the solar panel and have a little arrow and have it go to the lamp. Whatever it is that you did. Then your first question is, did it run? Yes or no? 
I'm, I'm going to probably see some no's in here, and that's okay. And if you look closely, it will help you decide if it uses electrical energy. Little things pop up in orange or yellow that will help you with this. Okay. Here's a video I would like you to watch that will just go through everything I said one more time. In the energy conversion simulation, you will be able to build, run, and analyze different energy systems. In build mode, you can create your own energy system. You can choose where the energy in a system comes from by using the arrows on the select energy source square. You can add parts to the system by dragging them up from the bottom. Use the arrows to view all the devices you can add. You can choose how much energy to transfer into the system with the slider next to the energy source. Click Run to see it in action. If you choose to use the hand crank as your energy source, you can transfer energy into the system by dragging the crank in a circle. For some devices, you'll need to press the blue transfer button to make the system work. Try lots of different energy sources and devices to see what works. Okay, great. Now, you notice we didn't talk about analyze yet because we're going to do that in a future lesson. So you'll have to work about building and seeing if it runs and then going back to your, I'm going to go back a slide to show you, go back to your seesaw activity, draw what you saw that you built with the energy source and the devices, little arrows in between, labeling them properly, telling me, did they run? Yes or no? And did it use electrical energy? I hope you noticed in the video, there were some orange words and some yellow boxes that maybe said electrical. That should be a hint to you on if they use electrical energy. Okay, so let's go one more time. Here is your information. So you're, again, you're gonna go to your Chromebooks bar and you're going to click on the Sacred Heart, from sacredheartchicago.org bookmarks where you see your website and you see epic books and all those you've used several times but this time you're specifically looking for amplify science so you're going to make sure you click on amplify science once you're there you're going to have several options to say something like clever and it's going to say google but we are going to use log in with amplify it is the third option the one on the bottom if you choose anything else it will not work now once you're there and i wrote this in all caps, do not, do not, do not use your own username. I would not put in julie.reinhardt and I wouldn't put my password in there, my SHS password. Everyone has the same password for this. It is username fourth, F-O-U-R-T-H, not the number, student, S-T-U-D-E-N-T, -E and it's all one word squished together, no capitals. Then your password, everyone has the same password. It's also fourth, spelled out, F-O-U-R-T-H, a little dash. The dash is up by, or hyphen, you might have heard it called a hyphen. It's up by the number zero, and then it's the word grade, and this time the number four. So try this, and if for some reason you can't get logged in, it says you're not registered. That means you probably used your own information. So what you need to do is you need to go up to the left-hand side, look for the three lines, and log out, and try again. So I hope you have fun. Spend about 20 minutes doing this, getting all those different simulations. Make sure you write them down in Seesaw. Words are fine or pictures, but mostly I want you to have fun because we're going to use this information next time. So have a great day and I'll see you on Thursday.